Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Transroad USA. So we're back in career mode and we're picking up basically where we left off at the end of the last video. Uh, I've moved it a little bit forward because one of the things I wanted to do was finish up what we had going on schedule one and then send that particular truck to maintenance and he has been in, in Detroit for maintenance and it's literally just completed that. So now he's ready to get back to work and then we've got one working schedule right now with a couple of contracts going on it. And I want to spend time in this video going back to that concept that we had talked uh, about in our previous video, which is the schedule itself and having multiple contracts and how all that works. So I did a little bit of testing on the side because quite frankly, I am not happy with this system as it now sits in the game. Now this is going to be my opinion. Uh, I'm sure for a lot of you, this works just fine. And if it does, then by all means, keep doing what you're doing. This is simply my opinion of, of one of the things that is a shortcoming in the game right now. So again, this isn't to say that uh, this is absolutely the truth and everybody else is wrong. That's not what this is about at all. What I have found is that whenever you're doing these types of things, this is exactly what you would want to do as a trucking company. You would not want to be running empty miles and doing one-way contracts. If you have a contract going from New York to Pittsburgh, you would absolutely want to find a load somewhere around Pittsburgh to bring back with you somewhere around New York City so that you're getting paid both ways and being as efficient as possible. Well, that just makes sense. And now granted, for the first three videos of this series, we didn't get into all that. Um, and that was for very specific reason. I'm trying to dial in each one of these episodes on a particular topic. Sometimes we can get into two topics just depending on the timing of things, but I'm trying to spend more time on one particular idea in each video. So last video was about this, this concept of filling out the schedule and running uh, return trips and getting paid for return trips instead of just one contract at a time. But I think this game has an interesting flaw in it around this type of system. And that is, I'm finding that a lot of times, somewhere around half the time, I'm getting burned on these. And they're not working out the way they should. Because in reality, I should be able to set up a trip from Pittsburgh to New York and then set up a return trip from New York to Pittsburgh very simply. Because in real life, what I can imagine happening, again, I'm not a trucking expert, but from the business side of things, I can imagine if we're in, if we have a truck that's in Pittsburgh. We could look at the contracts that are available in New York and call those guys up and say, hey, we've got a truck that's headed your way. He'll be there in such and such amount of days or hours. And we can pick up these loads that you have available and bring them back to Pittsburgh. Does that sound good? And then you could okay the contract sort of like we, sort of like we do here and then add those up. But what it seems like the game is doing is it seems like basically every contract is a just-in-time, gotta-have-it-right-this-moment type of load rather than having any flexibility. And that I'm not into. I don't particularly like that. Now, I understand that there are specific loads like that, but this game seems to be treating every contract like it is that type of contract. And what that means is sometimes you're going to be perfectly fine. Maybe most of the time, you can set up a situation like this and be perfectly good to go and never have any issues or warnings about being possibly late for delivery or cancellations or anything like that. But I've had all too often just a simple, some simple deliveries like this, simple back and forth return trip deliveries, nothing special, nothing fancy. Unlike what I tried to do in the last video where I tried to get three different cities involved and sort of doing a triangle thing here just simple trips end up not working out. I end up losing the completion bonus on these trips simply because one or two deliveries out of the whole, uh, the whole list of trips, for example, in the 10 trips, maybe the last one or two were late. Well, that gets me completely out of the completion bonus. I don't receive it. So that brings up problems for me, and, and I don't like dealing with that. So what it forces you to do, I feel like, is... If you're just a casual player, you know, if you're somebody who, like me, you're not interested in all the minutia of this. I'm not interested in, in absolutely nailing the perfect timing every time through. I'm not interested in that. 
Now, if you love to do that, then I completely understand. In the past, I would have done that as well and really reveled in being able to do that. But I'm not there anymore. I just want to play a trucking game and have this thing make sense and work in a way that makes sense to me. And right now, this doesn't seem to be making sense because already I've gotten warnings of things being late. It's like this doesn't make any sense. I'm going back and forth from the same city to the same city. So the timing is such that this game is allowing us no freedom whatsoever. It's almost expecting that we're only going to run a single contract and that's all you can get by with. Again, not all the time, but it's enough of the time that it concerns me and it allows me to see that that's kind of the way the game is geared. It's all, everything is just in time. So there are a couple of things you can do about that. Number one is you can just say, forget it. Whenever we get these warnings that pop up in the top right-hand corner that say, hey, you are about to be a day late for this and that's going to kick out your your completion bonus, which in the case of this particular one would be over $13,000. So that's a nice chunk of change for us that we would just instantly lose because we had at least one or more late deliveries. So you could just deal with that. Also, you could deal with the fact that you're going to get minus ones on your reputation in one or more cities. You could just deal with that and say, well, I'll make it up later in future contracts as I go back to the same city. You can do that. That's perfectly fine. It's a perfectly viable strategy, but I'm not really interested in that. Um, I might do that some, but I'm not really interested in, in that as an overall strategy. So what do I want to probably do a lot more of from this point forward is I want to start using two trucks on the same uh, contracts and the same schedules that should not require one. Now, you can see here on this particular contract that I'm hovered over right now, you can see that if we're in the green on the speedometer, it should require one truck. If we are running partial speed, which is the red speedometer, then we should require two trucks. Well, we're running at full, full pace, so we're in the green. That part shouldn't be an issue. However, it seems to be more often than I would like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a second truck to this schedule. And what this is going to do is maybe it's not the most efficient way of doing things. Maybe it's not the quickest or whatever. But what this is going to enable us to do is spend a lot less time micromanaging this thing and spend more time just enjoying the game for what it is and being able to enjoy the experience. That's mostly what I'm about. Uh, because, look, I'll tell you, if... If I wanted to start up a playthrough and just hammer through this thing and make as much money as fast as possible, then that would be no problem. See, already you can see contract fulfilled with delay. And that was a very simple down there and back type of contract. So that's what I'm concerned about. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's run this through a little bit. All right, now we're going to be looking for Pittsburgh to New York. So we just finished that. Now we're going to do New York back to Pittsburgh, hopefully. And, of course, there would only be one available. That's okay. We're just going to work through this because there's, there's an end goal that I have in mind here, and that is to show you how quickly that you can, uh, using your reputation, if you make deliveries on time, then your reputation can rapidly increase and can really get you some nice contracts very quickly. And by nice, for me, what I'm more concerned with is in the number of trips. The longer the number of trips, the more I like it. Because that's less time that I'm going to have to deal with. Yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be dealing with this, unfortunately, because of the way things have started out when I was doing this contract. We're just going to have to work our way through for now. Okay, let's go ahead and keep going because we're getting paid from Pittsburgh to New York. So I'll wait till we're a little closer to New York in order to do this. In fact, looks like we've got somebody ready. Yeah, he's ready for this. Let's go ahead and drag him over. So as soon as he makes his drop off, he will spend an absurd amount of money on this maintenance. And then he'll be back on his way. So these are all the types of things that, unfortunately, 
that you have to deal with. Okay, why are you not? Okay, seems like the game is trying to fight me on some of this. I'm trying to select things. Okay, so there are no, <laughs> great, there are no uh, trips back to Pittsburgh that I'm interested in. I want longer trips, but right now it's not wanting to give me those. So we'll just deal with what we got. Again, the money, the, the amount of money we're getting for each one of these isn't really the ultimate uh, issue that I'm dealing with. This is more about building up reputation so that we can get um, ultimately better contracts over the long term. All right, so now we've got two trips from New York to Pittsburgh. Let's go ahead and set up some trips to Pittsburgh, but I don't want to do that just yet. And, and the reason is because we've already got one truck that's going to be in maintenance. So that's going to mess us up a little bit already. So this guy should run over to maintenance. There he goes. Our other truck is headed to Pittsburgh. All right, and I'm going to try to get a return load from Pittsburgh right back to New York. And we're going to try to do this the absolute best we can. And then as soon as our second truck comes out of maintenance, he will jump in and help out with the schedule as well. But for the time being, we've only got the one truck. Again, it should only require one truck, but unfortunately the game just doesn't seem to be working like that quite as well as I would like. Because there are no really no real delays that we're dealing with. These are routes for a single truck, and we're going back and forth between two cities, not taking anything uh, really out of the ordinary. These are not issues you can see there. Pittsburgh is now up to level three. That's what we want. We want to keep doing that. Now we've got our second truck back in business with us. And we're going, all right, now we've got that contract field. We're one of four on the Pittsburgh to New York contract. Now let's go ahead and see what we can get on the return trip from uh, New York to Pittsburgh. Let's scroll down to Pittsburgh. Okay, we got two, two trips. Again, all I'm trying to do here on these contracts is take a quick glimpse up at and make sure that it's just a one truck contract because if it is then this will give me by putting two trucks on it this will give me the ability to finish it up quicker and give us some leeway to be able to make these deliveries ahead of time instead of always worrying about possibly being late and losing reputation losing money that type of thing so this is where i am choosing sort of a quality of life adjustment rather than let's be as efficient and make the most money as possible adjustment. Also, this enables me to only run one schedule, which again is a quality of life improvement for me. So we're running through these contracts pretty quick now. And unless I do something crazy like you've seen me do in previous episodes of, you know, forgetting to drag a a truck onto a particular route or something, then we should be perfectly fine on all of these. But of course, as we've seen, I can't always be trusted to do the right thing at the right time. All right, so we're looking for New York back to Pittsburgh. There we go. Only a single trip. That is definitely not what we're looking for. And here in just a moment, we'll branch out a little bit. And because you can see both of these trips will be coming to a sooner, both these contracts rather, will be coming to an end. All right, let's see, where is, I don't even know where, which way this guy's going. All right, he's going to New York, so let's go ahead and have him pick up this route, since he's already headed that direction. And I think you can get some nice, nice good, there you go, a plus two in Pittsburgh. So now Pittsburgh seems to be an area where we are going to be in good shape. Our if we come back into Pittsburgh and I hover over a contract that starts in Pittsburgh, if you look up to the top of the screen, again, I wish I could move my, my cursor up there and show you directly, but unfortunately it goes away if I move my cursor up. But it's sort of in the top left, you can see that we're showing at plus two. We are 18 of 25 on our way to level four for this particular uh, city. 
So that's good. That's what we want. And we want to keep increasing that because the more we increase it, the longer the trips we can get and the more money ultimately we can make and keep it simple because that is something huge for me. All right, so now this guy is trying to head back to our main base. Well, we don't particularly want that, but that's okay. Again, some of these things that the game does, I don't catch in time, and that's just something I'm going to deal with. All right, so let's see what we've got in, let's say, Boston. What do we have in Boston? Well, in Boston, we don't have as high a rating, but let's see what kind of trips we got. There's a four trip. Not very much. Of course, we're only going Boston to Augusta and four trips to Charlotte. A lot more. Of course, it's a longer trip as well. So 2400 per trip and a nice $17,800 dollar completion bonus. Now that is something that I really like. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and take that one. And let's get started on that one. And we're going to go ahead and have this guy get started. Let's go ahead and move forward. Now we should have this other truck is going from New York to Pittsburgh already. And then we can see our other driver which is headed all the way down to Charlotte, which unfortunately I'm not going to be able to do that. Now, we're going Pittsburgh. Is there anything Pittsburgh to Charlotte by any chance? No, nothing Pittsburgh to Charlotte. All right, so Pittsburgh to Boston, just the three tripper. Not really interested on that. So it looks like on this one, I'm probably just going to have to take yeah, you can see right there, wow, a nice 15 tripper there. Those are the ones that we're looking for ultimately. But again, I'm only interested in those if I can do them with two trucks right now. So what I'm going to do is you can see it's already defaulted this guy over. Unfortunately, we're just going to have to take the hit and let him drive all the way back over empty load. Not what I want, but it's what we're going to have to go with for now. So again, we're just playing around. That's the whole point of this Let's Play series. This isn't about, hey, here's the quickest way to a million dollars or the quickest way to expand. That, that's not any of those things. This is about having fun and just experiencing some different things in the game. All right, so now we've got our first economic boom. So that means that uh, tech factories, their output is now booming. Unfortunately, we're not doing any uh, dealings with them at this particular time. All right, right now we can't do anything uh, in Charlotte, not just yet. We need to finish up this particular contract before we'll be able to do that. But the idea, of course, is to continue building reputation in one or more cities. Now, if you want to do this the quickest way possible, then pick two cities that are fairly close to one another, say Boston and New York, and just do deliveries back and forth between those two multiple times, and you can build up reputation very quickly. In this case, I'm sort of spreading it out based on where the deals are. And this particular deal, let's see what we got in Charlotte. Okay, it's still not opened up for us. So we're just going to let this continue on. All right, so it looks like this guy is in Boston. So he's going to take that final, that final load back down. So that means that this particular trailer is going to be empty. See what we have coming out of DC. Okay, nothing terribly interesting. Some nice numbers, 2600 per trip and then a the nice $6,400 trip there. So not bad, not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and take that one, in fact. Looks nice. We haven't been to back up to Monty in quite a while. Just give us a chance to get back up there. And there is our truck that is on the way. And then what this should do is, as this, our second truck there is coming from Boston down to Charlotte. Oh, now we've got livestock, uh, which is a different type of trailer that we don't have access to right now. They're experiencing a boom as well. 
So now this means that our second truck, which is coming and delivering that last load to fulfill this contract from Charlotte, or excuse me, from Boston to Charlotte. All right, now we're done with that one. So automatically this truck will now join in and go from Washington to Monty. And what I'm gonna do now is head up to Monty and see, oh, yeah, we're blocked out there. I think we actually had some contracts there that didn't work out so well and had some late deliveries and maybe even a cancellation, if I remember right, uh, going back to our last video. So we're gonna have to work on a reputation there as well. So as you can see, these return trip contracts and filling out the schedule isn't as simple as I would like for it to be. On the face of it, you definitely want to make as much money as you can uh, as efficiently as you can, which means making money on both ways on a trip. However, it's not without its issues for sure. All right, so now we've got one truck that is headed back to Augusta. That's okay. Okay, now we've gotten our trade area with Monty is now up to a level one, which means that we now have some trips available. And one of those trips is to the furniture store in Augusta. Now, one of our quest lines is unlock the furniture factory in Augusta. Now, granted, I'm not a big fan of these quests. I'm more of a free mode type of guy, but since we're in career mode, that is one of the things that I want to eventually do. So let's go ahead and work on that. Let's see if we have anything in Augusta going back toward Monty. Yes, we do. There we go. And what I can do now is, okay, I have both guys. Let's see, which guy is this? There he is. And you can see that as I mouse over these guys on the map itself, they highlight. So this guy is already in Monty, so we're going to drag him onto this one to start. The other guy is already in Augusta, so we're going to drag him on to the Augusta contract to get started, and here we go. So this is my preferred method of running these things to sort of consolidate down into one schedule. And now these guys can swap back and forth and get all of these trips done, or both of these contracts done, and all these trips within the two and there you can see we start leveling up. Now, if we go back into Augusta, let's see if we can let us scroll in here. There we go. And now if we, okay, two here, you can see now it is at one of eight. So we need seven more deliveries, one of which is going to be part of the contract. But a unless we are, no, I take it back. We're already done, it looks like with that particular contract. I actually thought we had more than that. So here is a, another one. We're gonna drag the other one out here. And this is sort of worked out. This is kind of the way I'm doing it. Trying to just let things flow and not invite any more stress into this game. This is supposed to be fun. And we'll make money as time goes on. You can see we're up to 208 and things are rolling right along. And we're trying to make this as stress-free as we possibly can. Okay, so we're going back and forth, same two cities. And ultimately, out of this, I want to be able to, as the quest would ask for, you can see we're one of eight right now. Ultimately, I want to unlock this, but again, it'll happen when it happens. And if they continually offer us, all right, modern art special contract, we're going to decline that. Again, we're already in the middle of some things here. All right, there we go. There's two of eight. So we've made a couple of deliveries there. So we're on our way. And we're gaining more uh, reputation in both of these cities. All right, so right now we're about to finish up with going from Augusta to Monty. So we need back in Monty. And let's see, do they have anything going Helps if I get the right one on there. No, I don't see anything. Before I get too carried away, though, let's look and see. We got Boston and Washington. Okay, so we're not 
quite where we want to be. So we don't have any trips available right now. And I'm not going to head down to Boston just for this one particular purpose. Cause again, we'll get there whenever we get there. And so I need you to stop, <laughs> stop doing that. Stop the time going. All right. So from Monty to Augusta, preferably. And let's go ahead and take this one again. Right now, they're shorter deals, one to two trips at a time. All right, so this guy is already in Augusta, so we're going to have him. Um, actually, no, nope, you hold off for just a moment because I believe this is the final load going to Monty, which is going to complete this contract. And we're going to have an opportunity to set up the final contract. So let him get. Yeah, there we go. So now we need a new. So now we're plus two at Augusta. Let's go ahead and see what we've got. Go and make sure we're on from here, from Augusta to Monty. Do we have that? Yes, five trips. All right, that's what I like to see. It's a one trip, or excuse me, a one truck contract. And again, we're going to put two two trucks on it, 1300 per. Not that that's the major thing for us. Again, this is all about getting our reputation up. So now we're going to drag this truck over to, since he's already in Augusta, Drag him over here, and let's continue on. So now we basically got trucks that are going to meet each other on the road going opposite directions. We also got a news item, which is letting us know that the price of gasoline has gone down just a little bit, or the price of fuel, rather. It could be most likely diesel for us. So the price of fuel has gone down just a little bit. You can see from 450 to 410 so that helps us. And all right, so now we're two of five there. So now we need to set up going from Monty back to Augusta. And luckily we already have a truck that is here. There we go, a three tripper. And this is a way to, granted, it might not be the most efficient way to make money. All right, why is this guy Can I drag him onto? Yeah. Okay. Because I noticed, I looked down and I noticed that both of these trucks were showing on the Augusta to Monty contract. Well, I already have a guy in Monty, so I want him to take this contract first. So I wanted to see if it would let me go ahead and drag these guys in the middle of this. And it turns out it did. So I like that. And once again, these guys are crossing each other on the road. So to me, this is synergy. This is helping me maintain sanity and not forcing me to have to be overly concerned with micromanaging literally every move they make. Also, the other thing this will, this should do is help me out when it comes time for maintenance. Now, we're still a little bit away from maintenance on either of these two at the time, but if we do need to have maintenance on any of these, then this gives us a little bit of time because we're running a single truck contract with two trucks. So we're a little ahead of schedule. All right. You probably noticed the message up here, and this is what I like to see, plus three to both of these trade areas for each city. That's what I like. All right. That's what we want. So now the contract that we've just finished up is Augusta to Monty. So we're going to look in Augusta and see what's going back to Monty. And there we go. Now, a 10 tripper which is very nice, 1,400 per trip and 10,700 completion bonus. That is what I like to see. Those are the numbers I want to see. And let's see, let's go ahead and sign this contract. All right, and this is the guy in Monty. Where is our other guy? Okay, so this is the guy I want on the Augusta. There we go. Well, 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 hold on now. Hold on now. These guys are trying to mess with me now. They're trying to... That's one of the, the downsides of doing this. They're messing with me. All right, so we have one truck that is now... He just finished up. Okay, so we need a... From Monty back to Augusta... And the three trips, again, I would prefer five or ten 
or even more for that matter. But we didn't quite get that. Not yet. And so this guy is going to go from Monty. There we go. And now once again, they'll meet each other on the road. So this works out much better for me. I don't have to worry about all of those warnings telling me I'm about to be late for delivery. And I quite enjoy this much more. This is this helps me keep my sanity and a lot less of the micromanaging involved. And at the same time, 234 grand that we have in our bank account. I like the look of that. Again, as I mentioned before, and I will continue to mention in each video for those of you who may not have been following along with all of the videos up to this point, this Let's Play series isn't about, hey, let's show you the quickest way to a million dollars, the quickest way to make 500 grand or you know something like that. This is about having fun and just trying out a bunch of different things. I'm not claiming that I'm going to show you the ultimate uh, way to make money as quick as possible. That's not what this is about. This is about having fun at a leisurely pace and just experiencing what the game has to offer. These loads that we're taking right now aren't going to be the most money that we could possibly make. We could look at running longer routes. We could look at running uh, to different cities that have different rates and all sorts of things. But we're going to have plenty of time to get to all of that as we continue it to expand. In fact, if you take a look, we've amassed quite a bit of money. And when we come back in our next video, we're going to look at expanding and some of the options that we have for expanding. Now, we've already talked about how, unfortunately, because of the way the career mode is, is going, we're not necessarily going to be able to do it in the way that I've talked about uh, with, you know, Boston or D.C. purchasing a new uh, area there. But that's OK. We're going to continue to expand. We're going to continue to have a good time in the game and just try to experience everything the game has to offer. For those of you who are extremely aggressive, trying to make as much money and expand as quick as you can and all of that, I know you guys are fine. I know you guys, uh, particularly some of you from the comment section, I know you guys are well on your way, and, and that is awesome. Um, I love to see guys who, who do that type of thing. That's just not really what this particular series is about. So for now, we're going to leave it here. All right, you, you get the idea. We've been able to really increase our reputation in a few different cities. We're now working with a simplified strategy using only one schedule and booking more trucks to a contract than is absolutely necessary. Again, just for peace of mind and a quality of life type adjustment. Hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully we'll see you back as our Let's Play series of Transroad USA continues here at Nepit Gaming.